Hi guys. Hello guys. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we'll be discussing the tools for the concept of digital marketing. This concept that we mentioned in the previous video, and we also talked about uh, digital marketing, what it is, and mentioned several concepts. That's the search engine optimization, search engine marketing, email marketing, and the rest. So uh, in this video, we'll be discussing and explaining uh, the tools that necess you necessarily be using for these concepts, yes, depending on the one that you decide to venture into as a specialization. Okay, so uh, there are a lot of uh, tools out there. Okay. We have the free versions, we have the paid versions. Some websites actually gives you uh, an opportunity to try out the free version, probably for a period of time, maybe a month or so, a week. And some limits you to what you can do with the free version, and then the paid version gives you a limited service. Okay, so. Uh, We'll be classifying these tools with respect to the concepts and we'll giving you, of course, not all the tools, but majority of the tools or like the essential tools. That's the ones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, most of them. Okay. So for the SEO tool, there's a list of tools that you will be getting for the SEO. You have a lot more than this. Okay. Now for the analytics, you'll be basically using Google Analytics, that's Google services. But on the Google services, you have a lot, you have the analytics, you have the ads and what have you. So on the analytics for the Google, you'll be using the Google Analytics, Google Search Console. And SEMrush gives you uh, the SEO for optimization of the website. So you, it gives you an avenue for you to compare your website with other websites that are of the same niche with you, okay? Uh, more like trying to, that's you trying to know what exactly they're ranking for probably the keywords that they're ranking for and then uh to know what you are going to optimize with your own website that's on the on page or the off page what have you it's more like gives you an in-depth analysis of your website I think it the same thing i do is also what hrefs does it's not on this list but it's also analytics too and it's also a good optimization too i think the most extension to moz.com is also a good tool for that and the hot jar it's also analytics this gives you uh, the heat maps for websites okay it, it, it shows you how uh, people interact with your website where they click often on your website and they land your website and all that so these are like uh, a few tools that you'll be using for seo there are a lot more of these tools of course but these are like the majority of the tools that you're using the keywords everywhere gives you uh, a rundown of keywords now you you have an opportunity of linking these keywords everywhere that's installing it as an extension on your browser i use chrome so you can install it have an extension on your chrome okay install the uh, api of that whereby it tracks uh, whatever you search on the website on search engine whatever keyword i use on that search engine it analyzes it and gives you a list of keywords that are related to that keyword that if you want to optimize further as the long tail keyword, the short tail keyword, related keywords and what have you. Okay. So this is like what uh, this keyword everywhere does. So this is like a, a rundown of uh, a few SEO tools that you'll be using. Of course, some that are not here, it's Ahrefs that I mentioned initially and then Moz.com. Okay. These are also good SEO keyword. Um, tools that you'll be using. So for the SEM tools, basically uh, we'll be looking at the Google services because Google actually uh, dominates the, the market when it comes to search engine. Okay? So that's why we'll basically be looking at the Google Ads, Keywords Planner and Analytics. Just like the analytics that we mentioned for the SEO, you also be using analytics for SEM, of course, because each analytics just tracks the performance of your website. That's just what it does, okay? It gives you an idea and information about your website and where the traffic is coming from, the number of traffic that you're getting on a daily basis, the demography of the traffic and detailed information about the traffic. Okay. So the Google Ads is it's actually just like Facebook Ads, where you 
you have an opportunity of marketing your product. Probably, uh, and Google Ads is actually a very broad uh, platform. Okay, that includes the YouTube ads, the video ads, of course, beginning to YouTube, uh, the display ads. Okay, so it's a very broad uh, platform. Maybe one will, uh, will be setting up later in this course. We'll probably have an opportunity of setting up an ads. Okay, well, we'll talk about the advertisements. We'll bring this up. Okay, and we'll probably see how it works. Okay. Now the keywords plan I gives you an opportunity to plan uh, or more like analyze the keywords I'll be using for your search engine optimization and search engine marketing. So the content marketing tools that you probably be using on a this day basis is this there. Now uh, for there the Canva there it's basically for designing that basic design mockup. Although Canva is now expanding to actually giving you more services on design, but it's for those that can use probably CrowdDraw, Photoshop, Canva gives you a template for you to just mock up your design. Then social media platforms, as the Twitter, Instagram, what have you, where you also market your uh, contents. Okay. Now, just like I mentioned in the previous video, basically about a blog posting, that's where you have the WordPress uh, and the content management CMS and all that. Okay. So that's basically for when you want to focus on the blog, blocking part of it. And of course, the video editing software is the ones I'll be using for maybe your social media platforms, your WordPress, maybe like a, a 30 seconds clip or two to five minutes clip that you want to use to explain the content that you probably be writing about or you want to market for. Okay. So these are the few con uh, content marketing tools that you'll be using on a day to day basis. There are lots of other uh, tools out there. The body is like the few that you will majorly be using during this day business. Okay. So for the email marketing tools, oh, well, email marketing tools are platforms that help you build your email list. Okay, it's basically uh, trying to help you get a database by which you can send frequent emails. That's these are your potential customers. You can then uh, maybe differentiate it to the leads, people that are yet to be your customers, and then your customers who that have already converted or paid out, maybe one week customer, a month, two months, three months, so that you know how to market to them. Probably when you have, when you are looking at the retention part of it and you want to give them maybe a discount for them to continue or maybe give them a bonus because they have been a regular customer for probably a year, six months and all that. Or maybe when you want to convert your leads, to paying customers and you probably can give them 50% discounts or maybe 30% discounts to encourage them to convert. Okay, an example of this actually is I think uh, sometime last year, I, a friend actually uh, had to sign up for a VPN. Why? Because they're giving slash up up to 80% discount. Okay, so you pay more like up to a month, you pay more like, more like two months free for two years. As if you if you want to take the two years plan. So after that two years, when you have actually enjoyed this plan, you are encouraged now to continue with the 12 months plan. And the 12 months plan goes back to at least up to like gives you like 30% discount. So that's like part of the marketing. And okay, so something like that. That's what I mean when it comes to conversion and retention. Okay. So uh this email marketing is of course we have the free plan and the paid plan. Okay. Now, uh, I think the the top the top on the list, or mostly or widely known, is the Mailchimp. Okay, so we have the same grid, we have the hotspots. These more like a CRM uh, service solution. We have the hot suits. We have a lot actually when it comes to email marketing. Okay, but basically, what it does for you is to help to generate leads lists of leads that you'll be converting or following up with on um, via email so the next is the social media marketing tool okay. we've talked about the search engine marketing tool so this is basically social media marketing tool which is on the social media part of it on the search engine i think we mentioned the google ads which is basically like the one that is stopping the market so on the social media part of it, you talk of the Facebook uh, business manager. Okay. So this is where you manage uh, 
your all your Facebook related accounts. That's your Facebook page, your Facebook, uh, your ads accounts, uh, your Twitter, your Instagram account, sorry, and everything under Facebook. Okay. So when you probably create a business uh, manager account, you have uh, you can you have an opportunity of linking your page or all the pages that you have into the account and then probably the Instagram to the account and all your ads into the account. Okay, it gives you an avenue to control everything. It's more like controlling every all the accounts you have in one place. So the Facebook ads account is basically this is basically for uh, the mobile because you will have the mobile application part of it. Even on business manager you have the mobile place app uh, business manager uh, app. Okay. So on the Facebook ads it's it's where you set up uh, your ads that shows up on Facebook on and on Instagram. Okay. So Canva, like we mentioned initially, is uh, for design mockup. Okay. It gives you temp a template of designs. Okay. So uh, Buffer is actually where you create a uh, or schedule. It's basically for scheduling tweets, uh, tweets, posts that. You can schedule it on, you can schedule a post for Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, uh, which other platform I think you have, you have up to five, six platforms wherever you can schedule posts for. And at a particular point in time that you schedule it to go live, it's automatically posted. So of course, you give it a access to these accounts okay so that's for the social media uh, marketing tool so these are the few tools that i'll be using for the social media marketing of course all these tools that we listed are the tools i'll be using for for all this concept that we talked about that's the search engine marketing uh the search engine optimization the email marketing the content marketing social media marketing so probably in our next video we'll be looking at uh, several other uh, tools if they are that we use on a day to day basis. And of course, we'll also look deep into some of these tools and probably on a letter course, maybe a live course, probably a live uh, video. We'll probably, well, we'll probably need to uh, do a setup of the P2P ads, uh, sorry, pay per click ads. That's it on Facebook or on Google. We will set up an ads live whereby you walk, do a walkthrough of that and probably do a live question and answer that. So do consider subscribing to the channel so that you know when we are going to push that out. And if you're interested in, of course, uh, having a live class whereby you ask your questions and I answer the questions, I will probably have some interaction with each other and probably have the ads set up please let me know in the comment section below. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you next one. Peace.